First, let's create a circle with the ellipse tool. Let's press shift as we click and drag to make a circle. Otherwise, you will make a random ellipse. Here we have our circle. And if you have an outline, delete it because we don't need it. And let's give it some color, maybe some yellowy orange or orangey yellow. Or whatever you want. But here we have our circle and this is going to be the face. Now we are going to give it a little bit of a shadow. I have selected the circle, copied and pasted in place. So to paste in place, press Ctrl Shift V. So here I have two circles. The top one, I'm going to color it a very light purple gray. And here in transparency, I set it to multiply. And now I'll duplicate this purple circle. So I select it, press Alt, and then click and drag. Now we have two copies of this circle. I'm going to select the two of them, and in the Pathfinder, I go to this option, remove front. And now I have a shadow for my emoji. I'm going to add some shine to it because I also like that effect. Again, I'm going to copy and paste in place the yellow circle with Ctrl Shift V. And I'm going to right click, transform, scale. And for the scale, let's choose a number that's smaller than 100 because we want to make the circle smaller than the original one. Let's try with 90, for example. Click OK. And now we have this small circle here. What I'm going to do is delete this point down here. So press A or choose this white arrow tool. Select this point and delete it. So now we have this shape on top of our emoji head. And let's give it a gradient. So go to the gradient tool and we can see the current gradient but we want to change it a little bit so here instead of an angle of zero let's put 90 and let's make this second color also white so i think this is the one on top if i'm not mistaken so go to the one at the bottom and change the opacity to zero and now we have this shine effect for our emoji. Next step is to create the eyes. Again, I'm going to use the ellipse tool. And this time I want an ellipse, not a circle. And here is the first eye. And as you can see, we have the same gradient color. So to change it, we can go here to the color, press the lower square here to give it a solid fill. And then we can go in here to the color picker and give it whatever color we like. I usually don't use pure black 0000. I tend to choose something that is almost black but not quite. I just think it gives more depth to the color. So here I have one eye and now I can place it on the face. Place it wherever you like it. It's aesthetic choice. And now I'm going to duplicate it but I want it to be in a straight line. So there's two different ways to do it. You can press Alt, click, shift and drag. And that uh, pink uh, line indicates that you're moving it in a straight line. Or you can duplicate it randomly and then you can use the align tool up here to align them vertically. I'm going to put them a little bit closer together. And now I'm pressing shift while I move it so that it moves in a straight line. Okay, now I want to center the two eyes. I can press shift again and move them like this horizontally until I get this vertical pink line to indicate that they are in the center. But if you want to be super accurate, let's, with the two of them selected, let's right click and group. And let's do the same thing with the face. So I'm going to select all of the three shapes that make up the face, right click and group. And now that I have this group and this group, I'm going to select the two of them and go up here to align and click the horizontal bar. Now I have this emoji with eyes and I want to give it a broad smile. 
So let's create another ellipse here for the mouth. And I'm going to delete this point up here. So with the white arrow tool, select it and delete it. And this is going to be the mouth. But let's make it a little bit nicer. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but the shape isn't closed. It only is a curve like this. So we need to close it. To close it, I'm going to make it easier to see. I'm going to again choose the white arrow tool and select the two points up here, right click and join. And now the shape is closed, as you can see. We can put it here so that I see what it looks like on the face itself. And I actually like to round the corners a little bit, so these corners here. Again, with the white arrow tool, I'll press on the shape and you can see these little circles here. We can click and drag on them to round the corners of the mouth a little bit. Okay, I like how that looks. And because we have this and this in a group, we can also select all of it and again align it so that it's perfectly in a straight line. And now let's add some more details to the mouth. I want the interior of the mouth to be some dark pink. And I'm going to give it some teeth and a tongue as well. To do that, I'm going to use the ellipse tool again and create the shape that will be the tongue. Let's make it a lighter pink. And again, I'm going to align everything. And basically, I want to make this space the tongue. So I'll select the mouth, copy, paste in place. And now I will select this shape and this shape and Again, go to the Pathfinder and here to intersect. So now I have this shape. I have to select the color again because it always gets the color of the shape that's on top. Now I want to add some teeth here at the top. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool, make it white. Now I can select the mouth again, copy, paste in place. And with shift, I select the two shapes and again use intersect. I lost the color again, so I can eye drop it from the background with shortcut I. And there you go. This is the final face. What I have to do now is select everything, right click and group it so that if I move it around, I have everything in one place and I don't have to select all the shapes one by one. And now that I have this one emoji, something that I can do very easily is create different expressions for the same face. So for example, I can move this to the side and delete the shapes that I don't want and create a new one. For example, I want to create a normal smiley face. So for that, I will use the pen tool create a straight line and again with the pen tool add another point here in the middle and I'm going to eye drop the eyes because I want the smile to be the same color as the eyes and here I can change the fill to the outline and make the stroke thicker up here in the stroke panel something like that and I'm going to give it round cap ends. I think it looks a little bit prettier. And actually, here I can have the neutral expression emoji, which is also useful. So I can right click, group it, put it to the side, and I can use this one. I'm going to ungroup it to make it more comfortable. I can use this one to make a smiley. So like I was doing before, I'll grab the point in the middle, move it down and select the smooth option for the points and do it like this. So as you can see with one emoji you can create many variations very quickly and for this one for example I'm going to change it a bit. I'm going to move the smile a little bit up 
and I'm going to make this line a little bit nicer. So I can come here to the width tool. Shortcut is shift W and I can make the center of it a little bit thicker just by clicking and dragging on top of one of the anchor points. And these ones at the ends, I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. Again, I select everything, right click and group it. And here I have another emoji. That's it for this tutorial. As you can see, it takes a little bit of work to create the first emoji, but once we have the basic shapes in place, it's very easy to create more and more expressions. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments.